Hey, welcome to another iMovie tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do split screen or picture in picture. And this is what you see in your local news. So let's jump into it and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're back in the MacBook Pro into iMovie and I'm gonna show you how you can add a clip and then make it either split screen or picture in picture. Now, what is picture in picture? You may wanna use this if you're talking to camera and you want some video playing in the corner to show the thing that you're talking about. You'll see this if you watch your local news. You'll sometime have, sometimes have the TV presenter talking and then a video clip of the event that they're talking about. So how do you do this? Well, what I've done to show you this is I've brought a clip in of a recent video review we did on the iPad Magic Keyboard case. And um, what I'll do is I'll bring a clip in and put it on top. And you can see here, this is what usually happens when you, when you bring a cutaway clip in or a second clip in. As you play through, iMovie will play the clip that is on top. It will always do that. So how do you make this split screen or picture in picture? It's really, really simple. All you need to do is highlight the clip that you want to be the uh, picture in picture clip. And up the top here, you can see this little box click that and then you get your opacity options your fade options things like that so you can actually use this opacity if you want to fade it down and just kind of have them both playing you can use that in some kind of effects but essentially if you want to make it a split screen you can uh, use this scroll at uh, this uh, drop down menu here and click split screen and you can see as we do that and we play through you can now see we have the video underneath playing and then we have the video on the left. That's really cool, isn't it? You can see how that be could become useful if you're talking about uh, a, you know, a particular product or uh, you're doing a product review, that kind of thing. It works really well for that. So let's just go back to those settings again there. Uh, also, if you want this to be on the right-hand side, um, simply click this drop down here and then put it on the right. You can also make it go to the top or you can make it go to the bottom. Obviously, the clips need to look right for this to work. Let's leave that on the left. Now, let's try picture in picture. So all you need to do is click over here again and click picture in picture. Now, if we go back, you can see that the clip now has, um, the, oh, I've just clicked off that. You can see the clip is here and you can move this around. You can click and drag this. So let's say we wanna put it over here and let's make it bigger. Let's do that. Now you can see if we play back this clip as it comes in, you can see it pops there in the corner and it leaves us able to talk directly to camera and show the viewer what is going on, maybe in a close up angle. So that works really well. You've also got other options here as well. So you can create borders, you can do a, a, a sort of dotted border, a thick border, you can do a drop shadow and, and make that a different color. So let's make it like a, a, a bright blue color to match the uh, light here in the background. You can even do a drop shadow. And this just makes it stand out a little bit more. So if we now play through that, you can see it's quickly animated that. And we've now got a little drop down, we've got a border, and uh, you know the colors a little bit horrible there but you get the idea that works really well as a picture in picture kind of cutaway for your next video project and this can be really useful for your business videos for your youtube channel and it just adds another dimension and i think it looks really professional if used in the right way so there we go, it's a pretty cool technique and you can start working up some really nice effects just using these little techniques we've taught you there in this video. So remember, this is part of my full iMovie playlist where I take you from beginner to pro in no time. So make sure you check out the entire playlist all the way through if you wanna become a master of iMovie. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can do color correction and actually improve your videos so it looks much more cinematic than it does just coming straight off your iPhone or your camera. So stay tuned for that one.